it's MK. Wanted to give you a quick demonstration this morning on using area and repeating that area different places on your quilt, resizing, selecting that area, transforming the area, just to show you some of the functionality that we now have that's so awesome with the ability to save area. And by no means is this going to be an all-inclusive video, just really, really quickly to kind of get you thinking outside of the box. Okay, so on the screen, just a quick pantograph that I set up. The pattern is called Spiral and Bubble Edge to Edge, and it's a pantograph by Nancy Hackey. And I do apologize, it's not one of the ones that's free with the Pro Stitcher, but I love it. I love it because it, it can be resized to be larger or smaller. It works really good with the fill, and I love the spiral and bubble combination. So let's go up under area. I'm just going to do file open and I want to show you quickly just a star area that I created when I was working on another quilt. Okay, so I had that quilt open. I just did my multi-point marking around a star that was on that quilt. Okay, multi-point, multi-point, multi-point to create that area. Then I just did file, save. I saved the area. I called it star. And now I can use that star area on any other project that I'm working on. I don't have to recreate that. Okay, so I just opened up that star. Now one of the probably the best tips that I can give you for selecting area, which can be a little bit tricky if, you, if you're not familiar with working with it. If you have a design open and an area open and you're trying to select just the area, my biggest tip for you is to make sure that you click on area up here in the tabs and then click this select button right here that will allow you to select the area and move the area around. If you have this, this button just selected, sometimes you're going to be selecting your design. And that's not what you want. You want to select the area and you get yourself frustrated why you can't select the area. Okay, so biggest tip, just click area, click select, and then you can select that area and move it around. So let's just say I wanted to place this right here and I wanted to do some cropping. Okay, now if I choose that select and I just select over here in my pattern, that selects the pattern, it's positioned, I can just do modify, crop, close my edges, crop out the inside of the star, and and we're good. I'm going to baseline. Now let's say I want to move that star to a different area and do some cropping. Okay, again, area, select. Now I can just click, hold, and drag, and I can move it some other place. Well, let's say I want it a little bigger or a little smaller. It's still selected. Let's go to our transform tool. Now we can grab any one of these boxes and we can make it bigger or smaller. We can even grab this box up here or the circle up here, which is the rotate, and we can rotate that a little bit. And then, you know, we, again, we can transform it in any way that we want. Once we get it to the orientation and size that we want, we can move it around a little bit. Again, let's click the, re the normal select button, select our pattern. We'll just do modify, crop closed inside. Make sure we baseline so we don't lose what we just did. And then again, if we wanted to reuse that, we could go and move it around. Let's say that we wanted to go back to the original one. We don't want this one that we transformed. Okay, let's just go under area, file, open that star area, and now we're back to the original one that we can select and move around on the screen. Let's say that we wanted to create an area for ourselves. Okay, well, let's move our machine into position. Now we have an area open, so we're probably going to want to clear that. And then we'll just start doing our multi-point mark, and we'll create whatever area it is that we're creating. Okay, now we have an area created. Again, we want to select our pattern, modify crop, edges, and inside. Okay, so that's just a really quick way that you can use it in this scenario. Now, we can also use it in kind of the opposite manner. Let's go ahead and just do a clear all. All right, let's do this same type of a technique, but in the opposite manner. Let's say that we want our design inside of an, our area. Okay, I'm going to open up that same star area that we used before. I'm going to select it, and I'm going to drag it over here so you can see it. Now I'm going to open up that same design. Let's go with the uh, spiral and bubbles. Okay, this time let's go ahead and let's center this, this design. Now I know it's rather large, but you'll see why. Let's go ahead and center it in the design. 
by using that button right there. And then let's refresh to our area size so that we can see. Now we're going to do modify crop. Let's close the edges and let's do an outside crop. So now that we have the pattern inside, we can grab it, we can move it around inside of the star so that we can see the pattern you know, adjust itself. Maybe we want more of the spiral in the center. Or maybe we want more of the bubbles in the center. Let's say that it's just not quite the right size. Okay, well, we can resize it. Let's go to modify resize and we can just kind of watch it on the screen as we make it smaller. Maybe we want to do some of that micro quilting. And again, we can just click and drag this around. And because we've taken that extremely large pattern and centered it, now we have a lot of wiggle room with as far as moving this pattern around okay and all I did here was I just did click hold and drag and that's just kind of allowing me to move the pattern different spaces within that area okay I like that let's go ahead and baseline now let's say that I want that same area but I want it some other place on the screen okay go into area click that select button right there turns the area green now we can select it and we can move it maybe we want to move it over here but maybe we wanted a different size. Okay, let's use our transform tool. We can go ahead and make it any size we want. We can make it narrow. We can use the rotate box up here, or rather circle, and we can twirl that around. Let's say we want to drop a different design in there. Okay, let's go ahead. I created a different one, and this time it's with a pattern called Slick. Again, it's just a pantograph. This time it's by Digitech. Okay, so I just refreshed to my area size. My pattern is selected. I'm just going to modify a line. I'm going to align it to the center. Now, I can already tell that it's going to be way too big for my star, but let's just go with it. Let's go modify crop. We'll do close and we'll do outside. Okay, now it's inside of my area there, but it's way too big. So we can just go ahead and resize. Now, clearly we could have resized that before we did the cropping. Whatever you want to do, whatever works. But again, because I have not baselined yet, I can go ahead and play with that pattern. I can resize it. I can grab Grab it and move it around this time it doesn't really you know affect the pattern although by moving around it does affect the start and stop points there so you can move it around until you've got it where you want it and then you can baseline okay let's say that we want to make our own area all right well we can we can do that multi-point mark move our machine maybe we have some sort of applique or some sort of um, design we want to make an area around okay we've made that area we probably want to reuse that at some other you know stage of the game so we'll go ahead and we'll save it I'm just gonna save over the top of this other one we'll just call it new area and again we could drop that design in there let's say we want slick inside of there I'm gonna refresh to area this time I'm gonna resize my my design before I actually get going here so I'm gonna drop it down in size. I'm just going to align it in the center. I'm going to do my crop outside. And again, it, it's not the right size. So as it comes into view, I'm just resizing it. As it comes into view, then I can decide how big, how small. Once I get it where I want it, if I want, I can click, hold, and drag, and I can move it around within that area. Okay, get it to where you want it. Go ahead and baseline and if you need to save that before you stitch it, I would definitely do that. And then let's say we want that area, again, some other place on the quilt. Okay, let's go to area. We'll hit select. And now we can grab it. We can move it a different place. We can transform it. We can make it smaller. We can make it bigger. We can grab it. We can rotate it. We can do so many things by just working with areas that we've already created. So this is just tip, you know, the tip of the iceberg here. If you think about all of the ways that you can use area over and over again, now that you have the ability to save it, it's awesome. So I look forward to seeing some of the things that you do with area and cropping and transforming and all of that. Make sure to save here on the sim group so that we can all see everybody else's creativity and thanks for coming along today it's mk enjoy the rest of your day happy quilting bye-bye